It's the morning of the Sabbath. Some time has passed since I spoke to Eric at Sanima Library. After attending morning prayers and eating breakfast, I'm enjoying some much needed relaxation when. The door to our room springs open, causing Ricker to jump in surprise. Oh, that was um, a stereo sound. It's orientation time. The twins now loudly taking Ricker by the arms. What's going on? If you don't know, allow me to explain as you go. Sing songs in response to Ricker's suspicious question. That's a famous space broken by Ben Ten Cars in the Kabuki play, isn't it? I bow to your knowledge, Zuo chan. It was another parting gift left, left to me by Yuzuri Ha Senpai. I said, I'd really like to know why you come barging into my room and accosted me. Because of orientation, Richan. Taking me back look like I asked you what where the water's wet. I'm one of a dark here. Rika shakes off Ichigo's hands and her braids bristling. Ichigo folds her now free arms and regards her. I heard you're really snowed under with your council work. I'm trying to think about where we could be like we could personally do anything to help. Well, I appreciate that, but Clearly not seeing that much of an answer, she looks to me and Ringo for backup. Since I talked and when we came through the council's events in detail, is there anything we could do to help out and it was orientation. She sends a glance my way, of course there's a reason I haven't mentioned I was the one who instigated all this. I wanted to maintain the surprise. So you've been giving up your own free time to find a way to help me? Aye. She stands and delivers an old-timey aff affirmation. She then goes on saying we did some research about the orientation. We knew about it because we had one ourselves, but the orientation is basically a Tory Academy, right? Well, I suppose about to sum it up, I'd say it's an event dis 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 uh, designed to help the new students acclimatise to the Academy as quick as possible. In that case, rather than just looking around and listening to someone about Alan, maybe it's better to get involved in Academy life from the get-go. Indeed, indeed. Without the twins to shake off Ika's arms, sandwich and her between them, flash big grins my way. So it's time to set out on my orientation rehearsal. <laughs> the orientation rehearsal follow the same tour path we took as first year students. Although I didn't actually participate in our original orientation back in spring. We exited the dormitory and made our way towards the main school building. Ichigo keeping up the stream of narration about everything we passed while Ringo putting out the various flora and fauna living in the forest. We stepped through a tunnel of cherry trees and arrived in the school grounds where he took us on a tour of the gazebo, the gardens, the greenhouses and the allotments. Then we returned to the front of the main building before heading inside. Is this what I was leading to? Rick Rastich bought a cup of tea and a teapot set in the cooking room club. Drinking my tea, she's already accepted. It goes shakes her head. Actually, there's something that I personally wanted to propose. Takes a bite of chocolate chip cookie before continuing. Mm, what we just did was the old orientation, right? We could choose to introduce the main areas of the academy. Oh yes, that's kind of a point of it. But we heard you were considering it, so we wondered whether or not we could add some shiny new ideas to mix. And this is what we came up with. We can set the last cup in front of her and settles into her own seat. She shoots me a questioning look. I think what Chigo's son is saying, instead of simply taking people out of the academy, we can make it more of an interactive experience. Aye, indeed. The twins nod over to you while Rika finally cut into the idea, murmurs it sounds interesting. 
She was suggesting we, when we show them a ballet classroom, for example, we do it as a lesson in progress. So I can experience what I'd actually really like to study here. Exactly! I mean, we got a good introduction of a layer of the academy for our own orientation. We weren't told any details about what lessons we'd like, were we? Imagine how inspiring it would be for someone to see Chido in dancing. Imagine Takasaki san dancing in front of a brand new student. She'd immediately become her idol. But I'm sure that would come with a side helping of Erika san glaring at them. A smile finally blossoms across her face and the rest of us smile with her. We chat for a while about reorientation and other random topics. Rika and I had, man had many chances to talk recently. Mind how fun and relaxing it is to chat with friends. Eventually, after we had several refills of Rika, half tokenly telling us we're going to deplete the store of tea leaves, this part of the rehearsal too. As you go, pops her chest out proudly. What do you mean? I mean, this could be something we can add to the interactive experience. Rather than simply showing the home rec room, we can host a tea party from. That does sound like a good idea. Rika smiles as she pours another round of tea, telling a twin she's impressed. We asked around for other people's opinions, but this was. So we came up with when we were reminiscing together. Ringo takes over from her. We spent some time accompanying our grandmother when she was in and out of hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's better now, but back when she was having all these tests, there's one time our grandfather was struggling to open a bottle of water from the hospital waiting room. Despite appearances, my sister's actually a good person. So she helped him out to open it. Really, Ringo? You really have to appoint that out? It's nice when people are kind to the elderly, don't you think? Yes. That's not the end of a story, though. Ringo continues. After opening the bottle for her grandfather, she wondered whether or not she could make a market for easy to open bottles for seniors. Here she goes, son. Well, what, what, why are you giving that disappointed look? When we asked our grandma about it, she said that people her age at least have at least trouble opening regular bottles. Sometimes they can't open them all, so... She's saying a point of improvement can be found in little things, as well as a large. Ringo nods enthusiastically, including this was a memory that prompted a realisation. Hearing this, Ricka strokes her braids, looking impressed. Making small improvements. I was thinking about changing things from ground up, so that's why my ideas were terrible. They weren't. Just that everyone has their own unique way of thinking about things. And the Sasakis have a wonderful, kind-hearted perspective. Okay, that's an adorable picture of her. Erika Sensei said you were a flirt, and she was right. I stroke Ichigo's head as she hugs me tightly. Then I address my amity partner who's watching us with a hint of jealousy in her eyes. Rika san, would you come with us to one more place? The darkness has a tawny luster like a moonlight through a covering of a cloud. Ah, somewhere with dimness, a buzzer sounds, reverberating through a spacious room. No character. Puss in Boots, White Cat. Paddy character. Le Chat de Bob. Whatever. Sounds quickly replaced by a light, jauntily melody. Rika watches the scene unfolding. Rika is about the other day. The Saki sister down lightly on the stage from Paddy character. The shut the bot the shut the bunch of two. Chat 
Just like last time, Ringo acts out her mime as a white cat. Ringo's eyes crinkle as she watches a noble cat stroll across the stage, charming and elegant and adorable. As the music changes, Puss in Boots, Ichigo san, hops slightly onto a stage to a frolic of a playful dance of a white cat. We find white cat and wild puss in boots, cavort and cape like the sisters they are. The comical performance draws laughter. At the same time, the skill is captivating. The dancing is even better than before. Ringo comes close to Ichigo as she leans in arabesque penche. Ponche. Ichigo supports Ringo San in an attitude. They're starting and startlingly in sync with each other. The audience of two, Ringo and myself from the wing, is completely captivated. The frolicking dance draws to a close. Just like last time, White Cat cuts across the stage in a saute and Puss and Boots chase after it until they both exit the stage. I agree. <laughs> amazing! That was amazing! Cheeks flushed, Rigo applauds them enthusiastically and the twins reappear on the stage to develop, to develop a, a deep bow. <sighs> Uh, how were we? Even better than before. You were really good. <sighs> Hearing that from you makes all the effort worthwhile. The two cats were identically, were identically feline grins. Recovering from where we were with admiration, Rika slips back into a role of vice president for a council of Nikea. There are many students who involved in the academy because they want to study ballet. It was a good idea to have a tour of a ballet recital in the San Joseph. Great minds think alike. That's exactly why you've put on this little show for you here today. The final place we asked Rika to accompany us was to the St. Joseph Theatre. We're just happy we could be of use to you, Richan san. But of course, it's a wonderful idea. This will be... Bounce up to where I'm waiting in the corner. She abruptly stops when seeing I'm holding my hands. And I turn suspicious. And this is a real reason we brought her here to the St. Joseph. A sewer son? We're here because I want to bring my amity partner back to her usual tier so, so... By dancing for her. I was thinking that... I could also recreate my wife part of my ballet. You mean... This time she cuts me off, pointing to the weird basket I'm holding. Feeling my cheeks heat up, I nod. I do my little red riding hood performance. Rika squeals and clasps her hands together, but there's still one more thing. I have a favour to ask of you. When I take a step closer to her, I see that I should have run through her body. It's a two-person dance, but the wolf isn't here. So I was thinking you could perform that part. M me? Dance with you? She blinks rapidly as though she can't quite believe what she's hearing. Then, after a brief moment, delight blossoms across her features. Yes, yes, I I'll do it. I want to dance with you, Sora san. Hold up my hand already, my winning amity partner. She takes it reverently, like she's accepting a proffered hand of prince. A tune. Cheerful, but when underlying tranquility starts to play. And suddenly for you guys, you have to wait until next time to watch it. Bye bye.
白爪草。